Hi guys, welcome back. So we have seen a rise in the number of cases of building corrupts in Kenya. Uh, just a few days ago, a building Sarani collapsed while under construction and it was on the seventh floor and it was and the plan was to build it to the thirteenth floor. Just in the past 10 years, we have seen a rise in these buildings collapsing. Just uh, last month, another one in Moranga, another one in Ruiru. So many buildings are collapsing, with Nairobi and Kiambu counties having the most cases. So, what's the main issue? And why are, the, are, are we having major occurrences in these cases? Especially, and especially, commercial buildings, eh? you really find residential buildings. First, let's look at the process one is required to take before starting a commercial building project, or any building project for, for that matter. But let's go for the commercial. First, the first step you, is going to an architect who will make you both an, architect, an architectural plan and a structural plan. And before even doing that, they have to make a site visit to see the conditions, the, the type of soil, the size of the rad, all those stuff, eh? they are very important. So they make the first visit and then they give you both an architectural plan and a structural plan. These plans are then submitted to the county offices where they are scrutinized and vetted by the running housing and building department or by the, of the county government. So uh, after that, passes you now look for a contractor uh, and with your contractor you submit your plans to the national construction authority who also go through the structural plan especially the structural plan and NEMA and wait for the approvals now this is a very long and tedious process and many people hate it sometimes it can take even six to seven months sometimes even a year depending on the on the on the constraints so it's three years and chances are if, if it's done later and uh, kuna shortcut eh? sometimes with ambio your structure in the when the, the it's in the department it apart some major issues those people we, we need to visit the rad to uh, certify that to standard now happened also as a opportunity arises for the funny characters the first characters when you want to opportunity and those people passing the county people, the NCA people, how to want to petition easy plans, easy architecture, easy especially the structural plans. When you want to petition, now they get an opportunity to make the others. So instead of doing the authenticity, doing their work, now they they start frustrating people for them to gain to gain financial. And if they do this, eh? Uh, uh, the the competence um, uh, the the competence of these processes is injured from the, from there. On the other side, you may get very rogue investors who do not want to take their time and and they use their wealth or influence to have any plan approved. Yeah, but a plan in mature at a new scrutinization, approved. Lastly, you have those who skip all this process entirely. Anaenda, anatafuta fundi kienyeji, wanachora nyumba kwa, kwa karatasi, wanaanza kujenga. And then when these NCA officials and county officials visit those sites, wanacho, wanachota kitu kidogo. So they, get, they, they, they just pay them off. From the onset, you get a, a bad building because una, ume, ume, u, chances are with all those shortcuts you talk on a poor structural design utapata unqualified labor because chances are how to hire the, the approved people by both NCA and everyone and chances another thing is chances are you'll be negligent in that building process because you may have petition of it raka and so with that uh, Unapata, the, only the building from there is Ikonini, and 90% of buildings in Kenya is Ikonako Kashida. Eh? And, but there are other reasons that also contribute to the collapse. 
another thing is weak foundations yeah so every building site has a different foundation depending on the type of soil the landscape such pengine ni somewhere swampy or on a hillside trust me even if the building in aka simira the foundations will be totally different depending on the landscape of the land eh? size of the building eh foundation ya 10 stories na 5 stories is quite different eh? especially kwa the number of columns you need the size of the columns and so and so and also the design so kuna designs na ka weird zingine na ka funny funny each 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 house has a different I mean, structural design and with that structural designs comes different foundations so it's necessary to work with competent architects and engineers who will help you in figuring out your foundations do not copy paste other sites please do not copy paste other sites eh uh, kujenga it's a living organism always copy paste mtoto same case you should not copy paste a a nini a building site second another thing people what what uh, cause of this building building nini uh, building collapses is use of substandard materials eh this the only way in the RSI always go for quality not quantity hmm kama ni mchanga go to the best kama ni a substitute to that sand use the best substitute possible kama ni barast go for the best kama ni cement make sure ni grade that to plus e kama ni ribas use the right standard eh uh, another thing is another shortcut people make is unapata the structural designs as for D20 and D16 unaona mtu ana substitute D20 with D16 na D16 with D12 those shortcuts trust you me zitakula hizo ndo reasons watu wana wanapata mashida hapo another reason is poor man workmanship now this has been stated as one of the leading causes and this is not about the unskilled labor guy because unskilled labor yeah, na mbio fanye ina 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 but it's falls on your engineers and architects who from the world goal will determine the quality of the house you have and the contractors you acquire how how contractors are they doing supervision really are they negligent with their work are they doing are, are they hiring the uh, is are they work are they competent yeah so always make sure you have competent workers on your side do an extensive research on the people you are hiring uh, uh, on the other flip side as a tenant there are few tricks you may use to know whether you are living or about to rent a well built house number one okay on if you ever see a house marked by x by nc8 for whatever reason stay clear from that house eh? for whatever reason stay clear from that house na kama unaishi kwa hiyo nyumba na kwa x jana hama start making plans to kuhama second before renting a house especially especially these few completed homes eh? those wrong buildings eh? it's good as a as a as a as a insurance to you to ask for an occupation license so what's the what's an occupation license it's given to the house owner as an approval by the the housing department of the county that this is a well built building and it has passed all inspections and it's ready for human occupancy you got it eh so go ask for an occupation license most people don't go for them but if you trigger that and people start asking for that these buildings will start be what what are the your inspections are easy buildings that's another thing when a building is complete in a fa kufanyo inspection kama imepitisha or codes na imepitisha every imepita every inspection and it's passed with a license that it's good for occupancy so that's something you can start asking for also if you are living in a house and notice doors and windows jamming all of a sudden especially ukifunga your dirisha ilikuwa poor sasa ukienda kufunga unasikia imeanza kujam kidogo this should be a reason to be concerned eh 
and this building may be having some underground movements and it means could tilt in one side or the other. So that, that should be a warning, I'm a cause for a, a good enough reason for you to start vacating that house ASAP. There you have it. You can add more to this discussion in the comment section and I'll be very grateful. Guys, I'm Yano Modia and thanks for watching. See you next time.